Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you. In thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with all our heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We are truly sorry that we have humbly repent and accepted your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. He is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, Come let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. salvation. Let us come, come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. And his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights and the hills of his also. The sea is his, but he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down to the land of and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, let the day of the Lord be to the Lord's. Jeremiah chapter 17. Thus says the Lord, Cursed are those who trust in mere mortals and make mere flesh their strength, whose hearts turn away from the Lord. They shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when relief comes. 
They shall live in the parched places of the wilderness, in an uninhabited salt land. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when he comes, and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it's not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. The heart is due the the heart is devious about, above all else. It is perverse. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, test the mind and search the heart to give to all according to their ways, according to the fruit of their doings. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. See how they say to me, where is the word of the Lord? Let it come. But I have not run away from being a shepherd in your service, nor have I desired the fatal day. You know it came from my lips. It was before your face. Do not become a terror to me. You are my refuge in the day of disaster. The word of the Lord. The be to God. Canticle 14. O Lord and ruler of the host of heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of all their righteous offspring, be the name of heavens and earth, and to all the rest of the earth. All things quake with fear at your presence, they tremble because of your power, for the merciful promise is beyond all measure, surpasses all that our minds can fathom. O Lord, you are full of compassion, long suffering, and abounding. You hold back your hand, you do not punish as we deserve. In your great goodness, Lord, you have promised forgiveness of sinners, that they may repent of their sin and be saved. And now, O Lord, I have been in my heart, and make my appeal sure of your gracious goodness. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know my weakness only is too well. Therefore, I make this prayer to you. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Do not let me perish in my sin. I have no forgiveness as a serve. For you, O Lord, are the God of those who repent. And you will be sure of forgiveness. And the Lord is our enemy to save me in accordance with your great mercy. And I will praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For all the powers of heaven sing your praises. And yours is the glory for ages to ages. Amen. Our second reading is from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Now my soul is troubled. And what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No. It is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and, heard th and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you're going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that they may be so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people to set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. He is the holy prophets and prophets of old. He was the Savior from our enemies, from the hands of all the enemies. He comes to show mercy to our fathers and to remember the old covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hand of our enemies, to be a worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the God from on high shall break the promise, to shine on those who dwell in our hearts as in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and Lord and forever. Amen. I believe God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we will forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For God is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord. Bring us our salvation. Sorry. Bless your inheritance. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin and death. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Lord God, this blessed Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped in his face to be spit upon. Give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, you've made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for the Jews as they celebrate Passover this day. Glorify your name in them and draw them into the kingship of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for the Christian church as we prepare for Holy Week. Grant us truth, conversion of life, Grant that we be faithful as followers of Christ. We pray for church leaders in every type of church and denomination. For holiness of life. We pray that we would bring the gospel and that the gospel would bring peace to our world, especially in the Middle East, in the Ukraine, in our own nation. And bring the true peace of Christ among us, we pray, Father. Pray for the Diocese of Selvanaha Bay in South Africa. We pray for St. Philip's Church. We pray for Paige Robbins, Adult Daycare Center, and those who may serve. Bless their financial need. Bless them with good employees. Be with the families of those stricken by Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Be with all our outreach partners, Lord. Bless our efforts to fund, help fund them. Uh, bless the poor and needy who come to our door. 
bless our families, members of this church. Grow us, faith, hope, and love. Consecrate us in prayer, work, and study. Make us more generous with our time, talent, and treasure to glorify your name. Grant that all who come here would grow in holiness. We pray now for your needs and concerns. Lord be with you. And also so with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. The joy is right. right. Give thanks and pray. It's the joy and the good and the joyful thing always and everywhere. Give thanks to you, Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for our sins, he was lifted high upon the cross. That he might draw the whole world to himself, and by his suffering and death, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who put their trust in him. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, and forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and honor, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we have fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Yes. Christ has died. 
Christ has risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, Father, and his sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit and give to your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may, be, may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask for your Son, Jesus Christ. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, we receive the feast. The gifts of God for the people of God take them. Remember that Jesus Christ died for you. Keep that in your hearts by faith and thanksgiving. tied before Easter. Uh, yeah. You're supposed to be tied after Easter. Uh, in the words of Daniel, Jesus 